This door looks about as stubborn as some folks I know. I don't think we'll be breaking it down. Let's get the pieces we need to complete that crux. We'll bust it open that way. Sound good to you? Don't you worry. I won't run away, no matter what. This door looks about as stubborn as some folks I know. I don't think we'll be breaking it down. Let's get the pieces we need to complete that crux. We'll bust it open that way. Sound good to you? The last mural, huh? And this will give us the key we need to open the sacred gate. And we can finally reach the clevis. Huh? <gasps> if it isn't the man himself, the Order's idol, Benevelza, god of light. Death defiles the soul. Let salvation purify you. So the dead are unclean, is that what they think? And when Vanille performs the Soul Song, those bastards are going to make everything neat and tidy again. What do you mean? Don't you know? It's the ceremony that the Order's got planned. It's the reason they want the Holy Clevis. So Vanille can do their dirty work. Thing is, she's the only one who can hear the dead. And the Clavis can draw the souls of the dead. Isn't that how it goes? So, what does the ceremony do? More than just summon the dead, I take it? If you believe the Order, it's all putting the dead to rest and providing a salve for their tortured souls. That was enough for Vanille. Hook, line, and sinker. She says that she has to go through with the ceremony. She wants to atone for the past. So it's what Vanille wants, this ceremony. But even knowing that, 
You have no intention of helping the Order? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. The Order wishes for the Soul Song to be performed, a rite that they claim will purify the souls of the dead. If it might save the souls of those who have died since the fall, you should be lending your support. This should complete the crux. Let's try it on the sacred gate. Come on, the clevis waits. Seculars. They may be on your heels. They want the clavis as much as you do. Found the three tablets? Hmm. They almost appear to be parts for something. I see. I think I begin to perceive the truth of these tablets. So the time has actually come to open this door and see what's inside.
If we get this open, we'll be face to face with the Clavis at last. And who knows what else? I wouldn't be letting your guard down just yet. <laughs> like I need reminding. How long do you think I've been out here in the desert? I'm picking up a huge energy source from within the sacred gate. It's just like Fang said, the clavis lies before you. It's close. It may have further protections though. Be careful out there, Light. We've finally made it. Yeah, we've gone and done it. No way to go but forward now. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's do this.
So that's the Holy Clavis, the magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. It's like some kind of force, pushing down on my chest. There's no question. That artifact is definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this. Not without divine help. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? It's the Seculars. They're close, and they're armed. I'm sorry. They must have been hiding in the chaos. It's fine. Forget about it. Fang, it looks like Seculars have already- Sorry about this, Vanille. Fang! What are you doing? This is what you've been looking for. I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Benil uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead. Put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Benil is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... <gasps> You bastards want to take it from me? No! You have done an admirable job. The Sacred One will doubtless be pleased. Allow us to thank you on her behalf. <clears throat> Sacred one, but you're the ones who want her to die. That ceremony is not gonna happen. Hear this, heathen. You insult the order of salvation, and in doing so, you blaspheme our almighty God. God's judgment be upon you. May you repent with your death. Look at the hands of the planet over my dead body. So, Light, you want to lend me a hand? <sighs> you're asking now. <sighs> Let's do it, Fang. Don't let your guard down!
Not getting through that way. The sooner you accept it, the better. 
What's the deal with the clavis? What does it really do? Doesn't it ease the dead's suffering? <sighs> oh, it eases it all right. See, they get Vanille to summon the souls from out of the chaos with the clevis. Then destroy them. No more soul, no more suffering. They're just gonna destroy them all? Does Vanille understand what she's doing? She knows it. Just like she knows it'll kill her. And she just goes on saying she's gotta do it. She says it's the only way to stop the cry she hears. The only way to save them. And you didn't want to let her die like that. So you tried to get the clavis yourself. Yeah. That was the plan. I was looking for it, all right. But not to give it to her. To keep it from her. I knew what would happen if the Order got it. Vanille would kill herself. For a lie! So I joined up the bandits here, and watched over the ruins, and as long as no one found it, I could leave well enough alone. Now you see why I came along with you? I had to make sure that the Savior wouldn't hand the clavis over to the Order. I didn't even trust an old friend like you. That's low. Huh? You even doubted your old pal Lightning, spying on her like she was gonna stab you in the back. But I guess it's not so different from the way I spied on you. I had to wait forever to tip those guys off. You? You're the one who led the Secutors to us? Exactly. And without hope even noticing a thing. Now the Order has their little clavis and they're beating a trail back to Luxarian. I can't wait to see that ceremony, can you? All those useless souls purified forever in return for Vanille's life. Even the soul that was once Sarah, wiped away like it never existed. When does the ceremony take place? It'll happen on the last day of the world. When the final bells start to toll across the land, Vanille will face the clavis and begin the soul song. <sighs> <laughs> Fang, Vanille is going to die. You never did mince words. And I can't save her. So, what's your point? I save souls by granting them what they wish for. If Vanille wishes for death with all her heart, then I have to let her have it. I have no choice. You're saying you'd let her die? Yes, if she doesn't change her mind. I can't do it for her. You are the only one who knows how she feels. The only one who can save her from her darkness. You always have been. Hmm. All right, all right. I get it. I get it, Vanille. You hear me? We're in this together. Until the very end.
So that's the Holy Clavis, the magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. Damn, can you feel that? It's like some kind of force pushing down on my chest. There's no question. That artifact is definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this. Not without divine help. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? It's the Seculars. They're close. And they're armed. I'm sorry. They must have been hiding in the chaos. It's fine. Forget about it. Fang, it looks like Seculars have already- Sorry about this, Vanille. Fang! What are you doing? This is what you've been looking for. I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Vanille uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead. Put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Vanille is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... <gasps> you bastards want to take it from me? <gasps> no! You have done an admirable job. The Sacred One will doubtless be pleased. Allow us to thank you on her behalf. <clears throat> Get the Holy Clavis! You call her the Sacred One, but you're the ones who want her to die! That ceremony is not gonna happen! Hear this, heathen! You insult the order of salvation, and in doing so, you blaspheme our almighty God! God's judgment be upon you. May you repent with your death! Look at the hands on the planet over my dead body. So, Light, you want to lend me a hand? <sighs> You're asking now? <sighs> Let's do it, Fang! Don't get in my way.
They took the clavis. Bastards! Won't open. They must have sealed it. Damn it! We're not getting through that way. The sooner you accept it, the better. What's the deal with the clavis? What does it really do? Doesn't it ease the dead suffering? Oh, it eases it all right. See, they get Vanille to summon the souls from out of the chaos with the clevis. Then destroy them. No more soul, no more suffering. They're just gonna destroy them all? Does Vanille understand what she's doing? She knows it. Just like she knows it'll kill her. And she just goes on saying she's gotta do it. She says it's the only way to stop the cry she hears. The only way to save them. And you didn't want to let her die like that. So you tried to get the clavis yourself. Yeah. That was the plan. I was looking for it all right, but not to give it to her. To keep it from her, I knew what would happen if the Order got it. Vanille would kill herself for a lie! So I joined up the bandits here and watched over the ruins. And as long as no one found it, I could leave well enough alone. Now you see why I came along with you? I had to make sure that the Savior wouldn't hand the clavis over to the Order. I didn't even trust an old friend like you. That's low. <sighs> you even doubted your old pal Lightning, spying on her like she was gonna stab you in the back. But I guess it's not so different from the way I spied on you. I had to wait forever to tip those guys off. You? You're the one who led the Secutors to us? Exactly. And without Hope even noticing a thing. Now the Order has their little clavis and they're beating a trail back to Luxerian. I can't wait to see that ceremony, can you? All those useless souls purified forever in return for Vanille's life. Even the soul that was one Sarah wiped away like it never existed. When does the ceremony take place? It'll happen on the last day of the world. When the final bells start to toll across the land, Vanille will face the clavis and begin the soul song. <sighs> Fang, Vanille is going to die. You never did mince words. And I can't save her. So, what's your point? I save souls by granting them what they wish for. If Vanille wishes for death with all her heart, then I have to let her have it. I have no choice. You're saying you'd let her die? Yes, if she doesn't change her mind. I can't do it for her. You are the only one who knows how she feels. The only one who can save her from her darkness. You always have been. Hmm. All right, all right. I get it. I get it, Vanille. You hear me? We're in this together. Until the very end.
Secutor snuck their way in here after us, thanks to Lumina. I learned about the Soul Song, the real truth of it, back when I was with the Order in Luxurian. They wanted us to think it was this great thing, gonna save the dead. But then I learned that it would kill Vanille. Why didn't you try to run away together? I wanted to. Believe me, I tried reason, guilt, even brute force. But Vanille, well, she wouldn't give an inch. She said she was going to do it, whether it killed her or not. This is still about her trying to atone for the past. Uh, even the power she has to hear the dead. She thinks it's God trying to punish her. I begged and pleaded with her once I found out the truth about the Soul Song. In the end, I completely lost it. It's not easy to watch someone go to their death, and willingly. When she saw me yelling and raging, though, I think she just dug her heels in even harder. I was petrified. It was like she was slipping away right before me, and I couldn't stop it. What do you mean? Look, we shouldn't talk about it here. Just forget it. Do you remember what I said before? About Vanille slipping away right before me? Why? Ready to talk about it? I guess I am. You see, the reason she's so wound up for that ceremony is our past. You mean her guilt over the past has made her willing to die? Worse than that, I think. It's not so much that Vanille is prepared to die in order to atone for the past. She's not just willing. It's like she wants to die. As though it's a crime to be alive. When I looked at her, I could see it in her face. She thought she ought to die. She thinks it still. So she's gonna throw away her life because she feels bad about hurting Cocoon or whatever. But who really benefits from that? All it does is end another life. Doesn't bring anyone back. Why are you telling me this? Shouldn't you be talking to her about it? <sighs> Listen to you. The savior, eh? Don't need to be told twice. I learned about the Soul Song, the real truth of it back when I was with the Order in Luxurian. They wanted us to think it was this great thing, gonna save the dead. But then I learned that it would kill Vanille. Why didn't you try to run away together? I wanted to. Believe me, I tried reason, guilt, even brute force. But Vanille, well, she wouldn't give an inch. She said she was going to do it, whether it killed her or not. This is still about her trying to atone for the past. Uh, even the power she has to hear the dead. She thinks it's God trying to punish her.
I need the clevis, or Vanille will... I begged and pleaded with her once I found out the truth about the Soul Song. In the end, I completely lost it. It's not easy to watch someone go to their death, and willingly. When she saw me yelling and raging, though, I think she just dug her heels in even harder. I was petrified. It was like she was slipping away right before me, and I couldn't stop it. What do you mean? Look, we shouldn't talk about it here. Just forget it.
No whining. You work your skinny butt to the bone. It didn't work out like I wanted, but it was good to fight alongside you again, Lightning.
Do you remember what I said before? About Vanille slipping away right before me? Why? Ready to talk about it? I guess I am. You see, the reason she's so wound up for that ceremony is our past. You mean her guilt over the past has made her willing to die? Worse than that, I think. It's not so much that Vanille is prepared to die in order to atone for the past. She's not just willing. It's like she wants to die. As though it's a crime to be alive. When I looked at her, I could see it in her face. She thought she ought to die. She thinks it still. So she's gonna throw away her life because she feels bad about hurting Cocoon or whatever. But who really benefits from that? All it does is end another life. Doesn't bring anyone back. Why are you telling me this? Shouldn't you be talking to her about it? <sighs> Listen to you. The savior, eh? Don't need to be told twice. It's been real, Lightning. But now, it's time to go our separate ways. Huh. Got it. Hey, next time I'm in the desert... You won't see me. The gang's officially disbanded. I've got somewhere else I need to be. Sounds like we have a date in Luxarian. Good luck, Fang. See you at the end of the world.
I'm sorry. Those damn order dogs caught me off guard, and I couldn't do a blessed thing. Executors dashed off somewhere, taking the clavis with them. I'm sorry. Those damn order dogs caught me off guard, and I couldn't do a blessed thing. The Secutors dashed off somewhere, taking the clavis with them. <laughs> 